Hey guys, uh, this is Nate with ACA. I am going to be doing a review of the Monte Cristo uh, Linea 1935 Maltese today. So I'm quite excited about this. Um, well, I'm hoping it's not misplaced. So um, Johnny, I, and Galen did a review on the uh, Leenda uh, a few weeks ago now, which we thought was uh, was a great cigar, and that's you know just um, new production, you know, no age on it. Um, great, uh, but we did a review on the Maltese, or not the Maltese, on the uh, Dumas uh, about a week later and uh, we were really, really disappointed. So um, uh, the Maltese is the in-between size. And I say that, actually it's a lot closer to the Leenda um, than, uh, than the um, Dumas. So, Let's see. This one isn't quite as well packed as the Leenda that we had. Um, I'm getting quite a, a strong nose off the foot. It's uh, really got a nice kind of, um, almost kind of like a, well, it's got a bit of a wet cardboard kind of mustiness there, a little a bit of tobacco. When I do the cold draw, it definitely has that kind of hay kind of uh, cardboard kind of uh, taste to it. Uh, as you can see, the wrapper is a nice kind of uh, medium kind of chocolate brown there. Um, it's got the three bands. Okay, um, I've straight cut this one. I uh, just received today this new uh, Zikar, Zikar? Zikar cutter. Um, it's the X3. Um, I got the carbon fiber one. I don't think it really matters what the finish is. It's really about the blade. Um, I really like these cutters because um, I found that because the, they cut on a on a hinge at the bottom, um, I think you tend to get a bit more kind of uh, grip to it when you're cutting the uh, cigar and the blades are very sharp. So I think every single time I've used one of these, I've gotten a very clean cut and I've been very happy with that. So super happy to get this one. Um, I am going to light this one up now. Um, and I'm hoping that it uh, is much more similar to the Leenda than the um, Dumas, otherwise, yeah, that just won't be good. Let you guys know soon. All right, hey guys, back at the end of the first third year. Um, yeah, so it's definitely not the Dumas, very happy about that. Um, so far, I would still say the Leenda uh, is definitely better, uh, not enormously so, uh, marginally. Uh, when I first, I think the first, you know, maybe half a centimeter or so is definitely getting his light cigar definitely getting a lot of uh, kind of chocolatey notes uh, woody notes um, it's still a young cigar so I would say it does have uh, a little bit of an edge to it when it comes to um, you know uh, from that perspective I think it's uh, probably about a maybe a you know quarter inch to a half inch to, to, uh, to the cigar I was definitely also getting some black pepper notes there um, it has calmed down uh, now you know well into the, uh, the end of the first third and going into the second um, it's really taken on that you know kind of classic uh, Monte Cristo characteristic it has become smoother um, definitely the overriding uh, flavor that I'm getting there is that kind of uh, woodiness I know some people when they think Monte Cristo um, they get you know uh, that kind of chocolatey kind of taste uh, is something that they get out of it a lot. Typically for me, I, I don't get that as much as more of a really nice, pleasant, kind of um, uh, woody uh, characteristic, and that's what I'm getting now. I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, yeah, um, the draw, I think at the beginning, I, I've got, I forgot to mention, the draw was quite loose, um, but I'm finding that as I smoke it, you know, that, that's not really causing a problem at all. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Um, we'll keep you posted uh, in the second and final third. I'm at the end of the second third now. As you can see, the light has died here. Probably should have started recording this a little earlier in the day, just didn't have the time. Um, also getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here. So taking a little bit away from the experience. Uh, having said that, uh, the cigar has been quite consistent in the second third. Um, still getting those uh, very Monty characteristics very woody, still very smooth. Um, the scar itself, even though it's been, I think I said at the beginning, you know, quite well constructed, not quite as tightly packed as the Leenda. Um, gotten pretty hot and squishy 
Uh, this is, uh, I'm, you know, I'm in Hong Kong recording this and it's the summer now, so it's quite hot and humid outside, so that may have some impact on it. When we were smoking the Lienda, we were in a cigar lounge with air conditioning and all that. Um, I don't think that's really taken anywhere, having too much of an impact on the, on the taste. Um, but yeah, so far enjoying it. Um, I'm not really sure what, oh, there's another mosquito, right? <laughs> not really sure what, uh, you know, from, from a price point perspective, you know, what these cigars are gonna come out as. I probably need to go back upstairs and, you know, uh, check my notes. And uh, I did buy a box of these in Hong Kong, but uh, in Hong Kong, the prices are quite a bit more expensive than you may find in well, most other places in the world. Um, I'm guessing these are kind of gonna be around uh, probably $20, uh, roughly, US a stick. So far, it's about uh, at the end of the second, third now, I think it, for the price here, I'm a bit conflicted. Um, I think it definitely has really good aging potential. Having said that, if you look at other Monte Cristo cigars, if you look at the, you know, uh, Monte Number no. 2, if you look at the, uh, you know, Edmundo, Double Edmundo, um, significantly cheaper, good flavors out of them, um, also have good aging potential. So I'm not really sure where this one fits in, especially given that it's been about an hour since I lit it up. I'm well into the, um, you know, the end of the second, third here. So, you know, also from a time perspective, you know, uh, your value for money there. Another mosquito. Um, yeah, but I mean, this one was free. So lucky me, I suppose. But it's been a good experience so far. Um, I'll come back to you um, at the end of the final third uh, and give you my final thoughts on that. Um, yeah, but overall, pretty good cigar so far, so can't complain. Hey guys, so I'm at the end of the final third now. Share with you my final thoughts about the cigar. Um, as I said before, it's definitely Imani through and through. Um, the burn on this has been pretty good uh, throughout this cigar. Had to touch it up a few times here and there when I first started smoking. You know, we did come out, I am outside, so I did have that wind component. As you probably know, if you smoke cigars outside, you know, that does have an impact on the burn. Um, still pretty smooth. Um, still getting that kind of Imani characteristics, mostly uh, woody notes. Uh, I'm getting there, it's still smooth. Um, at the end, I'm getting a bit more um, slight, you know, edges there, a little tiny bit of bitterness. It's getting that kind of hot aspect that a lot of new cigars or newer cigars uh, will have. Um, kind of hard to mark it down because of that, because a lot of new cigars are like that. Um, like I was saying it uh, when I was talking in the second third of the cigar, not really sure value for money if this is probably the best cigar in the world. I don't think that um, you can really compare these. Probably closest example we can probably bring to the table is uh, the uh, Cahiba Bahikis. Um, but as you know, um, they do have um, the Bahikis that are, are using a, a special leaf. I just can't remember the name right now, which really gives it a unique kind of uh, characteristic um, to other Cahibas. Um, the um, Monte Cristo 1935s don't have that. I think if you are gonna buy a box of the 1935 series, you know, again, I've only smoked one of each of these. I would say go for the, the Leanda. Uh, when you look at the price point, uh, the Leandas typically are marginally a bit more expensive. Um, I think that experience-wise, you know, again, small sample size, the Leanda was a better cigar. It was uh, a longer smoke. Um, I'm not sure in the future, you know, how, you know, from an investment perspective, how much return you'd get. I think like a lot of the other cigars, you will make some money. Um, but if you really want to invest in cigars kind of long term, you really want to go for the more like limited edition and probably harder to find ones. I don't think given probably the blend that they're using for these, uh, they're going to be as scarce uh, as the Bahikis in future. You know, time will tell. Um, I would probably give this cigar... I would probably give this a 87. Um, yeah. 
Um, but again, uh, it's been an enjoyable smoke. I would definitely suggest that you pick one up, try it. You know, uh, if you're a cigar aficionado, uh, you know, try all three. See what you think. Uh, obviously, these are just our opinions. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I hope you do pick one up. I hope you do uh, give it a try, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Ah, oh, please subscribe.